It's K Rocket Daily. And we're heading into a five day holiday. Stay tuned to get your fix. But first, everyone, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. November 26, 2013. This is Amity, and it's National Cake Day. And Eddie, did you know that the word cake comes from the old Norse word kaka, meaning a baked flour confection? <laughs> kaka, really? I no longer want chocolate cake. Really? More for me. Really. Moving on, teachers, please check to see who has their IDs on them. Please reward students that actually have their IDs with them with three March stamps. You need your IDs for so many different things. It's just easier to have them on you. Now, on to Mars Reminders. Since it's Tuesday, we are going to focus on accountability. President Harry S. Truman was famous for the quote, The buck stops here. This is prob probably the clearest and most well-known statements of accountability ever made. The phrase comes from the slang expression, pass the buck, which means passing the, the response responsibility on to someone else. In other words, you need to accept responsibilities and do what you need to do in order to be successful. Speaking of being accountable, be sure to follow school rules. For example, there are to be no backpacks at any point in the school day. Or non-school issued electronic devices such as iPods and game consoles for that matter. And keep working on your Mars behavior so that you can earn more of those positive notes home. There will be a prize drawing for that next week. That's Friday. So be sure to get those turned into the grade level boxes in the cafeteria. In the meantime, be sure to keep up with your work in order to avoid mandatory tutoring. But if you legitimately need help, don't be afraid to go in. Like, help with your reading. After all, we should each have a total of 50 AR points by today. So be sure to visit the library you have until 4.15 every day to get to books, return books, and do anything else that requires being in the book stacks. One last thing before we go. Anyone in free dress today should have a penguin wrist, wristband, so teachers be sure to check for that. This has been Amity and Eddie with administrative reminders. Announcements are, are, are up next. Welcome back everyone. I'm Iris Ramirez. And I'm Alex Maria with the morning announcements. First up, be sure to come into school tomorrow for maps testing. What? Just kidding, tomorrow is the first day of Thanksgiving break. Stay safe and enjoy your time off. In the meantime, be sure to help out the PTA. As a Thanksgiving, you should have plenty of box tops to bring in. In, in class with the, the class with the most box tops at the end of the month gets a ninth period party. Another way to support the PTA and treat yourself is to stop by Sarah Cafe at the school for a snack. Also be sure to take advantage of the Pizza Pals deal in Room 153. For, a lot, for $11, you can get a pizza from Old Chicago worth $22. And be sure to order a copy of this year's completely awesome yearbook. Pay $15 now or $20 after once a break. That's it for the announcements. This has been Iris Ramirez. And Alex Maria, clubs and events are up next. Hello Titans, this is Ariana Ricard. And I'm Gabriel Brock with Clubs and Activities. And there is nothing going on after school today or the rest of the week for obvious reasons. But next week you can join Mr. Cordova's Computer Club in the Cyber Cafe. Learn how to build your own computers. Then take the stage on Wednesdays with Drama Club. From what we understand, you guys will be filming a new, the new intros for K-Rocket. Be sure to be on time or be locked out. Also on Wednesdays, you can choose Battle of Books in Room 147. Then Thursday has a whole lot of choices. Build Robots with Mr. Anderson Pre-Engineering Club. 
Another possibility, possibility, possibility is Environmental Club in room 120. Be part of the effort to save the planet. And then there's Orchestra Club for the Strings Virtuosos. Such as Jonathan P Pinto on violins and Paige Corti on violins and Toby Burr as alter alternative bass. Be sure to enjoy their concert with the Pikes Peak Honors Orchestra in January. Or you can be part of writing the copy or snapping pictures for this year's yearbook. And of course, there is also Scratch with Miss Otterson and her geek-tastic group. Finally, don't forget that the activity bus is available for all after-school activities. This has been Ariana Ricard. And Gabriel Brock. Sports is up next. Good morning, JSAA. I'm Ariel. And I'm Ja'Cory with K-Rocket Sports. When we return from break, the Lady Titans will be hosting two games at JSAA. Become with one with the basket. You can do it. And that's all we got. But before we leave, we have the joke of the day. What does a math book say to the other math book? I'm afraid to ask. Boy, do I have problems. <laughs> no kidding. I'm Ja'Cory. And I'm Ariel. See you next week for Daily Fix.